The Xbox One is a great console. However, one thing that really stinks about it is how you cannot directly live stream to YouTube from your Xbox One. That's why in this video, I am gonna show you a workaround how you can actually live stream your Xbox One gameplay to YouTube. Coming up next on Your Six Studios. Now to get started, this is gonna be the most important step. Make sure you have a good wireless connection with your Xbox One and your router. However, if you want the best results, have a LAN cable connected from your router all the way to your Xbox One. This will provide you the least amount of lag and issues with connections. So have it hardwired from your Xbox One to your router. Now let's go ahead and turn the console on by pressing the Xbox button at the front of the console. So our Xbox One is on, it's connected to our wireless router or our router and it's connected to the network. Now let's jump over to our computer actually where I have OBS open and I'm going to show you another application which you can stream your Xbox One to your computer really easy. Okay so I'm now on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and go to the start menu on the left hand side and then I'm going to go to the Microsoft Store. But you may already have this application. It's called the Xbox Console Companion application and it will look like this and it may be in the tile section right here but if you do not have it go to the Microsoft Store and then in the search bar type in the Xbox Console Companion and it'll be this first one right here the Xbox Console Companion application and it'll look like this this is the exact name and then go ahead and install it and launch it and the beautiful thing about this application is you can stream your Xbox One over to your PC. Now, I'm on the home screen of this application. If you scroll down a little bit, about halfway down on the left-hand side, there's a section here that says Game Streaming. And if your Xbox is turned on and connected to your network, your Xbox should show up right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on my Xbox, and it's going to start connecting to my Xbox One automatically. Now it says there are no controllers attached to this PC, but I have my Xbox One right next to me. I'm just going to turn on my controller on my Xbox One right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to continue on the screen. So now that my controller is connected, I can move around the screen and I will have absolutely zero delay when I switch my HDMI source over to my Xbox One. Now I'm just streaming to my PC right now. There may be some delay. However, if you're just going to stream and you do not care about having a delay, you can go up to the top right. Drop down window may appear for you and you can go to change quality right here. I have it on very high, but you can go down to very low and the lower you go, the least amount of delay you'll have. And this will be dependent on your internet connection. So if you have a worse internet connection, there may be more delay for you and you may have to go on the lower option. And then the next option over is your streaming statistics. You can see them in the lower left hand side right here. I have about an average of two megabytes per second. And then you can stop streaming right here and unmute and mute your microphone. Or you can go to the home menu on your Xbox One. We have this all on my computer right now. Now we're going to need something to capture this screen and live stream it to YouTube. And there's an application called OBS. I'm going to open up Google Chrome right now. You can just go to YouTube.com and type in OBS and get this software right here otherwise there's another software called Streamlabs OBS and if you like overlays Streamlab OBS has tons of overlays for you to easily install and I currently use Streamlabs OBS and I have OBS as a secondary streaming application so go ahead and get OBS for Windows Mac or Linux it should install easy for you otherwise go ahead and get Streamlabs OBS and download it both of them are going to be very similar, how you edit sources and add in new scenes. So this is Streamlabs OBS. You'll have your sources in the middle, your mixer here, and then your scenes on the far left. The great thing about this is you can go to the theme section. You can get a bunch of default themes on here and add cool overlays to your stream. And there's, there's hundreds of these on here. 
and then you also have the option for a chat bot on here. So let's go ahead and add some sources and get this screen and live stream it to YouTube. So I have just standard OBS up right now, but Streamlabs and OBS are pretty much the same thing. OBS is the more basic version, but it's gonna look and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go to the left-hand side here to sources and then go to the plus icon and I'm just gonna name this Xbox Stream. Press OK. Then I'm gonna go to the sources section and go to add. And then I'm gonna go to display capture and then go to OK. And it's gonna capture my first display here. And I'm press OK. And then we're gonna to wanna to add a microphone. So let's go back to the plus icon and go to audio input capture. Go to OK. And then you'll see a couple different devices on here. I'm gonna to go to my Blue Yeti microphone and press OK. So I got my, my display capture right here, my audio capture for my microphone, and you'll see the mixer right here. Every time you talk, the microphone will go up and down. So let's bring that down a little bit. So it's below this yellow marker. And adding like a filter to it, if you wanna get rid of the clicks in the background from your keyboard or something, go over your audio input capture device, right click on it, and then go to filters right here. And go to the plus icon and go to noise gate and go to OK and then just add a noise gate to it. So I have a noise gate on there and you can go to the plus icon again and go to noise suppression and that will suppress more background noise. You can adjust this up and down. Then if you want the microphone a little bit louder you can also add a gain or you can move this bar up and down. So we got a microphone set up, our display captured. Now what we're gonna need is our webcam. So let's go to the plus icon again, and then go to video capture device, press okay. Now I won't be able to add this in because I'm using it right now for my stream, but you can add it in right here. I have my Logitech C920 camera, press okay. Oh. And now you can see my camera working on the top left. But we're going to want to go to the plus icon once again and then go to audio output capture and this will capture our Xbox game sound and our party chat. So let's go to OK and there will be a few different options on here. Go down to speakers via HD audio. Otherwise if you have a headset on or something you can go to those headsets specifically and I'll capture that sound from the headset. If it's not speakers via HD audio, try a few different one of these. Maybe play like a YouTube clip in the background and just see what works. And go to OK. And you'll see your audio output captured down here in the middle here. Now the problem with streaming your Xbox One to your PC, if you only have one screen, every time you close this application, it's going to stop streaming. So we're going to have to start our stream before we start streaming to our Xbox One from our PC. But before we do that, we will need our stream key from YouTube. So let's go to our YouTube account right now by opening up YouTube. Then go to your profile on the upper right hand side of the screen. Then go to Creator Studio. Then go to Live Streaming. And copy this right here. This will say Stream Key right here. Go ahead and reveal this and copy it. I'm not going to do it on stream. Okay, now that I copied my stream key, let's go back to OBS and go to File and Settings and go down to Stream and then go to YouTube Gaming and then paste your stream key right here and then go to Apply. Press OK. So we got everything set up. Now let's go to Start Streaming. So our stream is now started. Now we can go over to our Xbox Companion app and start up our Xbox from here. Go to stream. And now we're streaming on YouTube from our Xbox One using OBS to capture it without a capture card. The only problem is unless you have like a, a phone or an iPad or something else to look at the comments, it may be a little bit harder to do that. 
on my computer I have two screens so I can just pop it up on the left hand side or the right hand side and read off all the comments but that's how you stream to YouTube on the Xbox one using your PC if this video on how to live stream your Xbox one over to YouTube helped you out make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below and check out more Xbox health videos coming up next on your six studios